The latest member of BMW's petrol electric hybrid family has arrived. It's the BMW 530e. What's the point? The point is this large luxury saloon uses less fuel than most motorcycles. And on a day like today, I know what I'd rather be taking to work. Ah! Ah! The 530e is the 530i's hybrid twin. You can tell them apart by the 530e's blue bits, here, here and here, and the charging flap where the electricity goes in here. Okay, so what do you need to know? Under the bonnet is a four-cylinder petrol engine. Here, which you can't see, is an eight-speed automatic transmission, which is a beauty, I love it. And then just in front of the transmission is an electric motor. Now, the batteries. The batteries are actually under the back seat and the fuel tank's been moved to sort of more towards the boot area and that actually does eat into your boot a little bit. Now, BMW says that with the electric motor working and the petrol engine working together, you should see a combined average of 2.3 litres per 100 kilometres, which is outstanding. Motorbikes get four, 4.5, like an 800cc motorbike. Now you can actually drive it on electric power alone and on electric power you'll get about 30 kilometers before you run out of juice. Now that's from a full charge as well. Charging the batteries takes two hours if you use a wall unit. There's also charging stations around the country. Plus there's always the cord which comes with the car that'll plug into a regular power point but takes about four hours. BMW says wireless charging will be here in 2018. Now that is cool. No more stupid power cords, just a mat you park your car on that charges the car. So really the way to drive this is to use the petrol engine and the electric motor at the same time. Yeah, look, you can drive it just on electric juice by itself. You get, as we said, 30 Ks. And if you live, say, 15 Ks from work, you could, in theory, get to and from work without having to use a drop of fuel. Um, but yeah, you do have to charge it up at night time if you want to get to that full capacity at the start of each day. Performance is impressive. We're talking 6.2 seconds from 0 to 100. The regular 530i does it in the same time as that. And the 530e's standard features list totally mirrors the 530i's. That includes a 12.3 inch touchscreen, Harman Kardon stereo, leather upholstery, head up display, auto parking and LED adaptive headlights. There's also a full suite of advanced safety equipment, including AEB, which works at highway and city speeds. We're still in the very early days of electric vehicles, and these petrol electric hybrids are really a stepping stone towards that future. In the meantime, these will save you fuel, save you money, and may even help the planet as well. The future's coming, ready or not. To read our full review, click on this little guy right here. Oh, and subscribe. That way you can stay on top of all our latest videos.